It's what makes our soda fizz and our champagne pop. But why would you blow carbon dioxide into your nose? New research shows it may just be a treatment for allergies like hay fever. It is a little bit of a strange idea when you uh, think about it. It's in a higher concentration than you would normally exhale, and it's in a more rapid flow. Tom Casali is chief of allergy and immunology at Creighton University School of Medicine. He's leading clinical trials to test whether flowing carbon dioxide gas through people's noses can reduce their allergy miseries. In an early study published in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, people with allergies randomly received either the CO2 treatment or plain air. The results with CO2 were promising and had fewer side effects than current treatments. Patients got significant relief of all of their symptoms of allergic rhinitis or hay fever within 10 minutes and actually lasted for up to 24 hours. Beth Korn, chief of the allergy clinic at New York's Mount Sinai Medical Center, has allergies herself. She calls the research exciting. I myself think that less is more. And if you can get by on treating patients with fewer medications, which will ultimately have fewer side effects, I think that's definitely beneficial for patients. More studies are underway to refine the dosing and test theories about how the treatment works. I'm Sunita Reed.